Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to another exciting episode of Issues with Dami. So last week, I spoke about why people find it very difficult to talk to their... Uh, why ladies find it very difficult to talk to their mothers about their sex lives. So today, I'm going to be talking about at what age do you think it is right or at what age do you think sh girls or ladies or adults, whatever, to have sex? Um, I wouldn't say there should be a particular age. Uh, I think, you know, back in the day, our mothers, of course, has to be when they're getting married and then, you know, the whole white handkerchief where they would have to prove their virginity to the whole village at the end of the day. And that's mostly in the Yoruba culture. I don't know whether it happens in other cultures as well. But right now, I, I think there's, there's so much civilization. You know, the generation has metamorphosed to different things right now where you see a 12-year-old on social media, where you see a 10-year-old already with boyfriend and, and all. So um, I think that they, they, there's no particular age. There's no, you know, carved in the stone age for when you should have sex. But what I think is that if you are going to be having sex, at least be responsible with it, you know, make sure you already have the right knowledge. Make sure you already know what comes with you having sex, especially when you have unprotected sex with people. So know that, okay, at the end of the day, if, if things happen, and when I mean things now, I'm not just saying pregnancy now, I'm saying if you contract, you know, sexually transmitted disease, if you have AIDS or HIV and all, be, let it be known that you, you are responsible for, for your actions. You know, you don't end up getting pregnant and then you want to go and have an abortion at the end of the day, you die or something happens and you end up not giving birth again and all. So let it be known that you are responsible for your actions. So I wouldn't say that there should be a particular age. Of course, you should be an adult and adults now start from 16, 17. Like, nobody calls them a teenager anymore. We already have a 16-year-old, you know, watching porn. You have a 17-year-old has a girlfriend who's already having sex, I think. Um, of course, there'll be 17-year-olds having sex. So I, I'm not judging. Uh, like I always say, I don't judge people when it comes to things like that. But I just feel like if you're having sex, at least be responsible for these things. You know, take responsibility when it comes to having sex, especially when you're underage. You know, just know that anything can happen. Like, there are different outcomes to these things. So whatever happens, be responsible for your actions. Uh, do not, do not, do not, do not make mistakes. You know, seek knowledge. Talk to people. Sex education is, uh, I think sex education is free, you know. It's, it's a freedom. Like, people just tell you about sex and then expect you to just take it up. So talk to the right people and hopefully... It's going to work. So while this topic is playing in my head, we decided to go on the streets of Lagos, you know, to ask people what age they feel people should start having sex. And this is what they have to say. Enjoy. What up, what up, people? It's your boy, SBB, Shimba Boy, and you're watching Broadway TV. This is another episode of On The Street. So on today's episode of On The Street, I want to find out what age do you think boys should start having sex? Because... Nobody knows the date or the age where you should start having sex. But what age do you think someone should start having sex? Let's go on the street and you find out people's opinion. Thank you. All right, so what age do you think a guy should be having sex? Man, I think at any fucking age. Two party ready, my ready. Hmm. You, you understand it now? Because once what thing ready, we think that at latter, latter, latter ready. I don't the fuck around. First, turn at 14. Ah, you bad, bro. <laughs> turn at 14, yeah. Like 26, 25, 26. Shut up! Let me see, at the age of um, 18. Jesus. You, as I look, you don't pass this now. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> when you're married. Actually. That's the age. That's the age, age of, you so know, you know like, like, something like 25. 25. Yeah, 25. This is the way I end today. So, like, how many minutes can you last in bed? Man, I should last long, bro. Long, long, till when the girl comes, sir. Yeah. As long as she comes, it's good. Age will be a cock or in my boobers. Tabanic Parano Lati be a job as a quality be eighteen years. So, Lero quantity, I mean, I'm already quitting years, and no, it's okay. Um, for me, I don't think there should be an age on it, but say, if you know you're not married. Why should you have sex? Chai! That's my kind of opinion to all this. 
at least you should keep away from it and when you think you're right for it sex is not meant for kids it's meant for people that are matured because it gets you connected in a way so when you're fully prepared mentally and um, and when you're capable to go into it i feel you should do that okay welcome back guys um you have heard from people of lagos state or nigerians you know telling you what age they feel people should start having sex Okay, so um, I'm sure you guys will be wondering why I have another chair with me. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to be inviting someone, you know, to, to share our own opinion about, about this particular topic. But before that, um, I need to let you all know that subsequently I'm going to be talking to experts when I have an opinion that I, or an issue I want to address. I'll talk to experts about it to hear their own opinion about this particular issue. But right now, she's not an, she's not an expert, but she, she's my colleague. And then she has you no know, vast knowledge when it comes to things like this, when it comes to sex and relationship. She, she has so much passion talking about it. So you guys, help me welcome my colleague, Ade Tutu. So guys, this is Ade Tutu. She's my colleague, and then she's going to be sharing her own opinion about this topic as well. So Ade Tutu, I was, yeah. I was discussing um, the age, the right age for people to start having sex. So your own opinion, what, what do you think? Well, I think um, these days, this age that we are into now, there's no, there's no specific age because now, like, the world is so civilized that some people don't even know the right thing from the, from the wrong thing. thing. They can't really differentiate that. This is when we should do this and this is when we shouldn't do this. When you go to primary school or, second, or secondary school, especially private schools mm -hmm. where their teachers don't really, really have the authority to discipline them mm -hmm. the way they ought to be disciplined. You see primary school students, you see secondary school students are doing, doing things that, things that their age, things that people at their age are not supposed to do. While I was growing up, I used to have um, a school father who, whose, whose mother is a nurse. And I asked him, he was dating my elder sister then, and I asked him the right age to get married, right. I mean to start having sex. And he said his mom told him that if a lady deflates at a very late age that mm. it affects them or something. Okay. But, but um, these days, like if we, if we dial, I mean, dwell into the northern um, people, they actually mm. get get married very, very early. Yeah. And I think that's why I'm sorry to this to say this. And I think that's why we have we have more diseases yeah. from the north. Like yeah. they don't. I see. To me, to my my. I don't know. Sorry, sorry to cut you. Okay. I don't know whether you watched this movie by Stephanie O'Kerrigue or Steph. Yeah, Stephanie O'Kerrigue. Um, Dry, no. where a young not a, a young Londoner was married off to. Um, of course, an adult, and then at the end of the day, she started peeing uncontrollably. It's called fistula, I think. Yeah. That way, something something happens to your urinal gland or something, and then you and pee uncontrollably. Like you keep peeing, you keep peeing. Like when even when she wants to stop, or she can't, she can't stop. Like she wakes up every morning in a soaked bed because at the end of the day, she keeps peeing. She started using, she started packing herself, started using clothes and everything. By the end of the day, it never stopped. It's called fistula. And then, you know, this, this I think the, 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 the child, I think she died eventually because as Northern Disney as well, they do not have the right orientation when it comes to health. Yeah. So they couldn't treat her well enough or early enough. And then, so if things like this can happen to someone where they didn't think they were doing anything bad. Of course. They were just marrying like off because of like their, their culture. Tradition. So if it happens to people like that, how do you not think it's going to work out for you if you are a 12 year old or a 13 year old and you're just having sex randomly? Okay, so I, sorry to cut you so short. I just, I to say just that. think um, for a lady or for a girl to start having sex, you can start having sex when you know you have enough knowledge, when you know you can face the consequences that mm. comes behind or consequences that comes after having sex when you're not supposed to have sex like if you could have sex with um with um a man who's already infected yeah. you could get so many diseases through that and that could actually cut your life short, short. Okay. you could get unwanted pregnancy and when you have an unwanted pregnancy the mm. first thing a normal individual will think of is how do i terminate this exactly and then you go terminating with um, a quack doctor not you done. lose your life you lose your your your, your how do they call this um, thing you your lose womb. your move you you know 
Abuse, so many things can happen. It's not. It's not like. It's, it's not like not, it doesn't happen to people that are actually adults as well. Yeah, but it it, it, it's just you know to be on the safe side to be to be on the safe side. That's what I'm saying that be able to take responsibility for all these actions that you are taking. Because exactly. if as an adult uh, I'm pregnant and I have a pain job, I, I can still say, okay, I can go ahead with this. But you as a teenager, you don't want mom to know. Your mom does not want people in the church to know. Your mom does not want your neighbor to know. There are yeah. so many things, so, so many, many things drama attached to these it. things. So if these dramas are going to happen, why don't, don't you just you know avoid this? It's, this thing is not going anywhere. It's not. It's, it's not. not it's not going anywhere. It's you're gonna. Anywhere. You're gonna. These organs are in your body. The person you want to sleep with, the organs are in his body. If you guys are meant for each other, even if you're not dating, if eventually you sh you just want to do it, at least you know it's not going anywhere. It's not running. It's not a food. You can do it at the right age. Okay. So I need to. So what age would you, if you had to put a name on it, now what age would you advise? Well, I'd say I'd say twenty because. I think the the perfect adult age yeah. now is 18. 18 yeah. So if you start having sex at um, 20, I don't think there's anyone who would come and criticize no, you really. and say, and to, to, why did you have eight, yeah. I mean, why did you have sex at the age of 20? For some people, 20 is overboard, but I yeah. think 20 is perfect. perfect. 20, I think you're old enough, you should already have some orientation. Yeah. You could Google, you could ask people, yes. your mom could, could yes. put you through. My dad usually put us through so many so things. My dad would tell us that if you know you have a boyfriend, while we're growing up, if you know that, like they'll call our mom, tell your children, and sometimes it calls us. If you know you wanna, if you know you have a boyfriend, you love that your boyfriend, you don't wanna lose him, mm. and he's saying he wants to have That's sex. Sexy, true. I would not allow any of my child to abort. Mm. So it's better you have a protected sex. It's better sex, you yeah. use condom yeah. and be sure that the guy is not infected in any way. Mm -hmm. So to be on the surface side, you're an adult. You want to have sex. Mm -hmm. Your guy, your guy is frustrating. You want to have sex. But if you're not, if you, in fact, if you haven't come, because trust age, me, now, nowadays, guy, nowadays, even a condom is not a safe sex it's, anymore. It's it not. is not. So many things happen. It breaks. Some people, I just learned that some guys, in the course of having sex with you, they have a way of removing their condom that at the end of the day, you do not know. Uh, people are terming it as rape now because I, I saw a lot of thread, or I think it was last week on Twitter where people were talking about it. They've termed it as rape because you did not inform them you do not seek their consent that you're going to pull off the condom before doing it so it's i think it, they had they have a name for it but it was under the category of being raped or something yeah so if nowadays condom is not so strong anymore and then it breaks or the guy is so callous and then he pulls it off while doing the intercourse and then you do not know about it there are so many things that can happen. So, so many things that can happen. So I just think it's a, to be on the safe side, just pick it, pick it, uh, how am I going to call it now? A right age, which is, like she said, 20. 20 is fine. 18, 19, adult age. But I think just to be on the safe side, just make it 20 and then, you know, enjoy this thing as much as you want. Uh, like we said, it's not going anywhere. It's, yeah. it's yours. It's not going. It's not going anywhere. It's your, unless, of course, the world it's ends tomorrow. Body. And if the world ends tomorrow, trust me, you have lesser problems to deal with <laughs> with God. <laughs> if, uh, if, if, if sex before marriage is uh -huh. the big it's thing, the big at least you have, you know, lesser problems to, to explain yourself about when it comes to, you know, to that time. So I, I think, personally, I agree with Adetu. So I think 20. 20 is the perfect age to do this thing. But... Like I always say, we're not judging. We do not know. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry. Yeah, There's something okay. I had to say. To all the fanatics mm. who might actually say this, we are not advising people no, to we are not. have sex while, while they're 20. It's your mm. choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. What you if want you want to have do. sex when you're 14, it's fine. We're just telling you that there are so many things attached to these things. But if... And you if have you want to have sex means, until you get married, it's fine. It's fine. fine. It's perfect. It's fine. We are not if it's on your wedding night, people. if it's on your wedding night, in fact, you want to be like our mothers, it's great, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's, it is. We, we are a role model, we look up to people like that. <laughs> <laughs> we are not saying we've had sex ourselves, we are just saying that if you want to wait till the... Yeah, I think you just told people like <laughs> 20 years. But that's like, oh, if... <laughs> so if, if you want to end up having sex, at least just, you know... Just get the right information. Sex education is important. Parents, teach your children about sex education. It is very, very, very important. I'll keep saying this. By the end of the day, it's your choice. If you want to have sex when you're 12, by all means, just know that there are responsibilities to these things and then be ready to take 
up your actions. So thank you for joining us, Alicia. Thank you for joining thank me. You. So maybe you should go and become an expert so I can be bringing you every week. I think so I, I don't know. have expert this I'm week. Working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, so join us sometime next week for another issue um, on Broadway TV. And do not forget to subscribe. You click on the button, download, you write subscribe. So you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then you follow us on our social media platform, which is Broadway TV on Instagram and it's Broadway TV on Twitter. Thank you so much. Bye.